Isis and I are over in Vermont today and we are heading southbound on the uh, ATLT uh, instead of going up Bromley. I'm going to see a few shelters that I missed on uh, my long trail trip and we're going to take a little walk down memory lane. I feel like I'm going slightly against the grain today. All the northbounders are heading north and I'm heading right for them. So it's a little busy, but that's okay. That just means that there's a lot of people out hiking and having a good day. It's beautiful temperatures. Not as warm as yesterday, but not as cold anymore as it was this morning. So, um, we're just enjoying the shade and the sun when we get it and having a good old hike. All right, we made it out to the power lines. This view has significantly grown in since I was here in 2015. You can't even see up there anymore. These things are growing. That road right there um, by the power line is probably Route 11. So we're gonna keep going. We're probably gonna go to Spruce Peak and then um, Spruce Peak Shelter. Maybe we'll even make it out to David Logan. We'll uh, see what happens. might have got water here in 2015 too. All right, Spruce Peak is a hundred uh, yard side trail. It's kind of up some rocks and Isis tried and then it got super buggy like there was this fly swarm. She didn't want to do it so she turned herself around so we're not going to do it or we're going to try on the way back. So whatever. <laughs> Eh, it's wooded anyway, you know, although it looks cool. It's a good climb. So we just ran into Jay Wanders Out. Um, he also has a YouTube channel, so it was nice to chat with him for a little while and give him some insight on New Hampshire. Now we're going to head to Spruce Peak Shelter, and I know that she's going to go to this. So we'll see what's happening. All right, I'll talk to you down the trail. All right, we had a nice break at uh, Spruce Peak Shelter, a shelter that I had never been to before. Um, it got super busy, so I didn't film anything, but maybe we'll stop again on the way back and I'll get some pictures or I'll do some filming and show you around. It's a nice four-sided shelter with um, a door, but in 2015, Isis and I just never made it and uh, we were resupplying at the parking lot anyway, so we skipped it, but now we've seen it. And now we're climbing back up. Isis and I are heading out to Prospect Rock. Um, I stayed there in 2015, and uh, it's mostly flat. It's about a mile and a half away. That might be our turnaround for the day. Um, we'll see how we feel. You know, I want to see David Logan Shelter, but even on a day like today where I'm just day hiking, it's still a half mile off trail. Um, so we'll see what happens but we'll definitely stop back at Spruce Peak Shelter and try to get some pictures and stuff there. So we are gonna keep walking 
and I will talk to you later. And this one right here, who's sniffing everything. Hi, Isis. Who now, ever since we got the cat, every Saturday, she is right at the door, ready to go. Whether it's a local day hike or a trip, um, ready and raring to go. I think she just wants to get away from him. <laughs> um, and then during the week, She's all mopey and doesn't want to walk around the neighborhood and just looks pathetic. So, I don't know. I think she really likes it out here. This is a nice section of trail. Florida flat and uh, leads out to a nice view. probably under a mile to Prospect Rock now, so we might as well do it. All right, Isis and I have made it back out to Prospect Rock. This is the view down into Manchester, where we'll be heading as soon as we get back to the car, which is, which is the direction we're heading in next. So. Back in 2015, we stayed right over there and uh, watched some thunderstorms roll around. Do you remember this, Isis? Huh? No? I didn't think so. Beautiful day. Isis, that's our old campsite. Right there. And I'm pretty sure you laid there when we first got there in 2015. <laughs> That's Prospect Rock over there. So plenty of places to camp. All right. We're uh, heading back. Uh, we're on the flat section, so let's have a little chat. Um, thinking more about my next section hike, you know, and Maryland, Shenny's, um, and then the 100 mile wilderness popped back into my head. <laughs> Only because, you know, ISIS is going to be. 10 next month and I'm going to be 50 in September not that that makes any difference um, but more so ISIS will be 10 and uh, we'll be slowing down probably in the next couple of years so why not get it while I have knees and uh, while she's still relatively mobile um, but I haven't, I haven't decided, but those are the three that have kind of bubbled up and, uh, we'll see what happens. Whoops, rocks. And, uh, we'll see what I decide. Um, but if I had to give an order, it might be 100 Mile, Maryland, and then the Shenneys. And... The Shenny's purely because um, I wouldn't have to carry a lot of food. And um, blackberry milkshakes, people. Come on. But, all right, we'll see what happens. I'm going to pay attention, and uh, we'll talk to you down the trail. All right, so this is Spruce Peak Shelter. Um... There's a couple of long trail hikers down here with me. And uh, it's got a nice fire pit. Four-sided with the door. 
and a window. Over that way is another water source. And there's plenty of tenting around too. I think we got about two miles back to the car. All right, we're heading back to trail from the shelter and it'll be about two miles down to the car. And then down into, into, into Manchester to charge up and head for home. What a beautiful day. The guys and I are just gonna take our time and head on back down as I trip. Isis and I have about a mile left to the car. Um, it's been a little tough coming out. <laughs> it's a little hot. I'm sweating a lot and I'm going through a ton of water. So we're working it. We've got one little push and then it's all downhill and then we'll be at the car. So we'll talk to you down the trail. mile to go. So while we're even entertaining the fact that I'm going to be 50 in September, I've got to start thinking of a hike to take around my 50th birthday. Maybe not necessarily on the weekend of my 50th birthday, but sometime in September to commemorate the occasion. It's a pretty big deal. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll have to think of something, maybe something in Maine or something like that. Ooh, bridge. No. Uh, and it all depends on the weather too. So we'll see what's happening. It's been a good day. A little, a little warm, but not terrible. And uh, we're almost out. You can hear the, the car is pretty constant now. I'll be picking up Isis and we'll dart across the road to the parking lot. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. We got back to the car. Um, by the way, there was a Bolt and a Tesla in the trailhead parking lot. We're growing in numbers, people. <laughs> we went down into Manchester to try to find um, some other chargers. And most of those were blocked off or blocked up by other cars because people are just parking everywhere this weekend. So we ended up back at our old faithful Zoe's Double Hex. Uh, it's a restaurant right down at the bottom of the hill, basically. And we're charging up now. We should be done fairly shortly. And we are going to head for home. Maybe a cup of coffee. Who knows? And uh, it was a good day. It was a great hike. Good temperatures. Good people out. You know, um, good terrain all around. Just a, a great day. Um, so much better than yesterday which was hot sticky and humid and apparently there was thunder showers and a lot of showers over this way um, so I'm glad I picked this day and uh, I've got one more day off tomorrow so I'm gonna enjoy that and relax I will catch y'all on the next hike um, and uh, I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>